Yeah. Will they take it home this year? I just don't think it's in the budget. Talk about uh, vacationing in southern France. I don't think that this is what they mean. East of Marseille is Cannes and uh, Toulon and uh, Nice, um, which you know are wealthy. And west of Marseille isn't. It's extremely flat, a huge swamp. The territory is divided between uh, two thirds oil refining and one third of bird sanctuaries. Also. Every 15 minutes, I can hear guns go off in the distance. So, like, what is this? Like, Windsor, Ontario? Breakfast of Champions. If you have the opportunity to be a tourist in Toulouse, I, I really strongly recommend it. It's, uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. I've basically failed to capture anything that, uh, anything that I would have wanted to film. Definitely had my share of boomer moments on my way here of asking if this thing's on. The deforested foothills of the Pyrenees where people are farming, those were, they were a little creepy, I thought. But I was probably like the mist and the fact that I was there at 4.30 in the morning. The people there were crazy nice. People there were super, like, I got, I got pulled over like three times and people just started asking me if I wanted uh, food or water or if I needed a lift. Yeah, things are going well. You know, on these trips, eventually morale always flags. This morning, uh, I was packing up in the rain and uh, breakfast was cold. But uh, when you meet your objective, you uh, it's gratifying, it's good. Anyway, here I'm gonna share with you guys getting to my destination. I made it! <laughs> Next time, I think I'll just cut out the middle step and swim.
people tell me that there's something of a rivalry between Toulouse and Porto, which I totally buy. It, I mean, there's lots of stuff here that uh, they've done super well. The fact that the uh, the water access is like a proper attraction. Uh, it looks great. I found the food here to be more affordable. I recommend that you try visiting both cities and tell me what you think. Alright, it's pretty big. It's pretty big! Infrastructure in this country does basically kick ass. You know wine and women is all I crave. A big leg woman gonna carry me to my grave. Born on the bad side. I've been down since I began to call. If it wasn't for bad love, I tell you I wouldn't have. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how the trip went. Um, it was quite an accomplishment for me. Uh, three weeks, 1,700 or so kilometers, uh, quite a bit longer than anything I've ever done before. Uh, I'm gonna indulge in just a bit more vlogging. I got no flats, which was a nice surprise. You know, and I learned lots of stuff on each one of my rides, but I really learned a ton on this one. I'd say that one of the big things I learned on the trip is the challenge of keeping everything dry. Ooh, it got, uh, got kind of soupy there towards the end. Menhir. Menhir. This component of the bike right here is called a bouchon, which is kind of funny because this is also a bouchon. This is also a bouchon. French people love hunting. I didn't really uh, know that before I started. I see hunters everywhere, and I hear a lot of gunshots throughout the day. Uh, so I understand why people, myself included, are kind of anxious. These are constructed with alternating layers of stone and brick. Um, apparently, they account for thermal expansion. I also definitely learned to use Google Maps kind of skeptically as a tool, because you know, I had a, I have a habit of just punching in where to start, where to go, and uh, taking the first result, but... The first problem with that is that if you follow it too closely, you miss out on the opportunities that France has. Taking kind of side roads, more elevated routes, tougher, but much more rewarding. For instance, I found this feudal oven. That was awesome, that was sick. It cost me like an hour though. Same with a lot of the castles that you saw in the video. And then the other problem is of course that like, <laughs> Google Maps' ability to determine road viability ranges from pretty good to questionable to delusional. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed by uh, Code. Uh, it took up a lot of time, and honestly, it's kind of a drive-by city. But it's sort of encouraging to know that just because you're making your city in uh, southern France it doesn't mean that it won't be ugly. You know, and I'm also allowed to talk shit because I'm from Kitchener. You know, it's good to see, it's good to see diversity. Like, it's good to not just see the kind of cultural centers, uh, just to, so that you can see how people really live. This area is really lovely. There are birds that are fishing in this canal, and uh, the path just follows the canal. This is a prison complex. The, yesterday, I, I was walking for like four and a half hours. I think, and uh, I only stepped in dog shit once, so this is empirically the cleanest city in France. South Central France is also full of these UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Honestly, it looks like the rest of France! Anything else to say? I don't think so. Alright, catch you later.